to another episode of ISTE's Beyond and IDK. Today we have with us Radhika Pai. She was the chart singer for the year 2018-2019 and is currently working as a system software engineer at NVIDIA. She was our chart singer for the year 2018-2019. Hello Radhika, how are you? Hi Anat, I'm good. How's everything going? Can we start off? Uh, I thought we can start off today with just a bit about yourself. Okay, uh, so I'm Radhika. I was in electrical and electronics batch of 2019, and I was charged to get for that year at ISD. And right now, I'm working in NVIDIA as a system software engineer. So, how is the work culture at NVIDIA? Okay, uh, so to be honest, it's really open and nice. So, uh, within the first week of my joining as an NCG, okay, a new college graduate, uh, my manager set up a one on one with the director of the business unit. So it's a really warm place to stay, start off with, and they're really supportive. So uh, I face a lot of issues, like I've made such mistakes, and they've been really supportive and helpful throughout. So uh, very constructive criticism and stuff like that. And there's a huge repository of learning material in media, as they work in quite a lot of technologies. So uh, there's a lot of internal knowledge base that you can build up on that's really helpful. And there's a lot of flexibility in the team, I would say. So I myself had a chance to work with another team for a stint of two, three months. So, it, and uh, it gives you a lot of better insight and everyone is very uh, focused about like, they pressurize on the importance of the good work-life balance. So that's something that we really need in this time. Um, so what are the tasks that you do in a normal day that your field requires you to do? Okay, uh, so if I speak about the present scenario, we are working towards getting our code certified. So that involves a lot of documentation and tweaking the existing code to reach certain industrial standards. But on a normal day, apart from these grueling works, then we have uh, working on new feature additions or optimizing existing features for particular hardware or a particular client. So based on the requirement, we are working and that's how it works. How did you land your current job at NVIDIA? Okay, um, so to be honest, I interned here for a semester. So I interned here for like around seven months, actually more than a semester. Uh, so, so I would have talked to you about how I ended up interning here. So when during my internship back in college, uh, as you can see, there are not a lot of companies coming in for profile that you want. So uh, I, I was really picky back in college and I did not sit for half the internship test because that's not something I wanted and it did not align with the profile that I wanted. So I had to get this thing off campus and I interned here for a semester. So that also means that this was my major project and I ended up landing a PPO here. So yeah, I'm lucky. How was your experience? How was your internship experience with the company? Okay. Uh, so starting with my internship experience here, there was a lot to learn because this was a little different from what I worked till now. So. Uh, it is a lot of coding and it's a lot of ramping up to do. It was very OS specific and a lot of coding work. And the thing was, this is a really good thing about uh, my internship experience was they did not treat me as an intern. So it did not limit me to documentation or like testing or some things like that. So they actually gave me tasks and bugs to work on like any other uh, new college graduate or any other engineer in my team. So uh, there are a lot of mistakes I've made. Uh, so I remember in particular, due to my lack of knowledge in the field, there was a change that I pushed and it led to like a crash of an entire process and it was a big thing, okay? And the team was really supportive. They didn't care, like they didn't mind me making mistakes because they, they're, they're like a team which supports it. Like they're like, that's how you learn and stuff like that. And that's something that was really nice. They're very supportive and, and there were other things to do just like an engineer would do. I'm sure a lot of us would love to intern with NVIDIA after this. So how exactly did you find your, how did you land the internship job, internship job post a role? Okay, yeah. so I applied off campus basically through a person I knew and then I had to submit my resume. There was a resume based selection first of all and then I had a telephonic interview when I was back in college. So NVIDIA doesn't come to campus for software roles primarily due to the fact that College really supports two-month internship and not six-month internship. They prefer 
it's more like college prep for you to like take courses and stuff like that so and software requires a six month uh, dedication because it takes you a few months to understand the code base and actually contribute to it so this is something i applied off campus and got interviewed for separately so yeah you mentioned that software actually requires um a six month internship so even now after doing that entire going through the experience would you still suggest that students should go for a six month internship and if so why okay so uh, my personal experience is that any sem off would be better than sitting in classroom so i am sure a lot of people might not agree but experience is a way better teacher than sitting in classroom so be it a research internship or be it an industrial internship it will teach you more than you do in college because your courses are really uh, not that updated and upgraded as of now so they do not meet the industrial standards secondly when you do it practically that's when you learn so when you put hands on you falter you make mistakes and that's when you learn so i think this is something i've learned way more than i would have done in any of my semesters so i do not regret a sem off and i would definitely suggest everyone to take a sem off <laughs> but if you're doing it do it in the seventh semester because eighth sem is the sem you would be in college and post all those one last time then not miss out on your ring ceremony and fun stuff in college and all your farewells your club farewell yeah so that's the thing <laughs> <laughs> So, um, how? What exactly is the procedure for a student to take a sem or semester off? Okay, so the first thing the college requires you to do is finish your credits, because you do not want to stay in college for an extra semester to finish the credits you haven't done. So you have a credit requirement of of around one seventy one eighty credits for eight semesters. Make sure you left with around twelve or fifteen credits in the last semester. so it makes it easier for you because you do not want to be studying hard in the last semester either so it means you need to work a little harder in the 5th and the 6th semester take more courses get done with it because spending another semester in college and doing like two three courses is actually a waste of time you rather learn going out and another thing is find a professor who's willing to let you go and sign your internship as a major project because you do not have the time to go and come back and do a separate major project either and your major project counts for around 8 credits i think yeah 8 credits so and you also have to finish minimum credits of 12 every semester so when you're doing that make sure that you find the right professor who is helpful enough and then you can make this your major project and so make sure that your college life goes smoothly being an ec student how exactly did you make this particular internship your um major project what was the process with that okay uh, so the first thing was i was in electrical okay so uh, there were a lot of courses that i really like there were only a few courses that i really like like you could speak about digital system design or signal processing and things like that i did not in particular like core electrical courses but this uh, so in general when you ask a person about or when you see all your seniors or friends being in the uh, software field you think it's all the same but uh, like i can see my friends doing uh, like working in software field but it's not the same so uh, being a system software engineer is a little different so we work in the layer which is in between hardware and the user application layer so when your friends are like helping uh, working towards making uis or uh, like working on make certain platforms you're working on coding certain uh, I, i don't know i'm going to really technical here you're coding for certain hardware specific stuff so like you go towards hardware engine the board and it goes into boot time so like example if i'm writing a code that goes into my os layer so when it's booting up that's where my code lies and it also does is it facilitates what your top layer stacks work on so it's more hardware related than software that you can think of so this is the field i like that way because i did not want to completely cut off from my engineering skill so i don't want people being like what is the point of doing electrical if you're here and if you also see the demographics of my team they're all primarily mtechs or masters from ec and electrical they're not computer science or it students so that's something like it aligns with the field i'm working in so that's how i landed up here now given that this is a time of immense certainty what do you think that students can do in order to work towards this particular profile that you have taken Okay first thing irrespective of the field you are trying for upskill yourself 
with something you think resonates with the field you want to pursue because you have a lot of time at hand make sure you're using it try understanding the tech the latest tech out there in the market because that helps give you an edge over everyone else and i would say third thing is like if you're like looking into coding and certain things like that look at the challenges on kaggle or something like that like look at the problem statements that are out there that people are trying to solve so uh, you don't have to solve them yourself primarily because you pr- probably you think you can't solve them yourself look at the solutions other people have given so a lot of professionals out there working the same thing look at the solutions they have given try understanding them and try implementing them primarily only when you implement them do you realize what is wrong and even if it implements fine there will be some hiccups that you will find like probably some compiler level you learn a lot and there's a lot of insight that you gain when you implement others solutions and you always get a very multi dimensional view to it when you look at other people helping like solving a certain thing so the upskill that's the thing uh do you have any other general advice for us since our placement and internship season is coming up okay uh, so first thing would be don't panic okay like you'll see your friends and other peers getting internships and placements don't worry because you will end up getting one with an nitk tag and you can always see it as an opportunity someone gets placed next company you have one competition lesser okay so look at the brighter side and second thing is when you panic you tend to forget what or you tend to lose focus on what you really want a lot of profiles don't come to campus at the end of the day fine and the other thing you should primarily do is learn from the mistakes your friends your peers make so this is the thing which i did uh, so i wasn't sure i'll get a ppo at the end of 7 months and at the end of my summer vacation that's like 2 3 months of interning i hadn't really prepared for placements because i was too busy trying to get a ppo <laughs> so and so i came back to campus for a week and uh, the thing was with zero preparation the only method i could do was learn from my friends and my peers so i asked them what questions they had come across what they found difficult and what they found really easy in their interviews and in their papers so that gives you a lot of insight and when you brainstorm with them it gives you a very multi dimensional approach to a single problem like you might solve it one way they will solve it another way so it gives you a, a like all round approach to a question and that really helps so that that's what helped me for my interviews that's how i sailed through the placement time and one more thing is when you get placed make sure you help your friends as well because it's a two way street <laughs> they help you you help them back uh second thing was just like then coming to the general advice that people give like uh be really confident in your interviews and be honest on your uh, uh, resume don't lie because it's true okay they can make out if you're bullshitting and <laughs> like when they ask you questions and thirdly would be when you're interview getting interviewed make sure you take them through the thought process that you have because it gives, gives them an insight about what a candidate you are and whether you're good at problem solving or not so the thing that even my nvidia manager did when he was interviewing me for my ppo was he saw whether i could solve a problem the first thing he said was he's not looking for people to know the subject entirely but he wants to know if they can solve a problem and if you don't panic in real life situations because that's how industry works not all your practical knowledge sorry all your theoretical knowledge of textbooks is being tested in industry it is not you you're being thrown at with new challenges new problems every time and it's about how you don't panic and you take them face up you face them so you just show your interviewers that you can actually face problems and help them through the thought process that you have so that's a nice thing you could do <laughs> thank you so much arika i think we will end our session here thank you thank you that brings us to the end of our interview guys if you found this helpful do hit the like button below and don't forget to share and subscribe to find out about more opportunities beyond nitk